Hey guys, Angry Joe here, and uh, I'm gonna do a quick vlog. As you can see, I have with me Lanny Pator and Cinema Snob. We are filming a movie. Well, there's more people here as well. There's uh, I'm you not don't sure if you can this. see my world. Obscurity. This right. is just all the people we could fit on a couch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would be hilarious if all of us crammed in on the couch. So um, I am um, I'm filming a, a, a movie for my friend Linkara, who is a comic book reviewer, and uh, he asked me to come down. So that's why I'm a bit late on the Mortal Kombat X review. I got everything on this laptop, but it's been a lot harder uh, to find time to edit, and it's a lot harder to edit on a laptop than it is a studio. Uh, so that's the explanation on the de delay. The review will definitely be out by April 28th because I'll be home by then and I'll be able to bang it out um, at the studio a lot quicker here than here. But uh, the Star Wars Battlefront trailer just came out and uh, so I wanted to give you guys my opinion on that while you were waiting. All right, guys? Hey guys, Angry Joe and Other Joe here. Uh, we just heard the Star Wars Battlefront reveal trailer has come out as a part of the Star Wars celebration. And uh, we want to watch it here with you and, and give you our thoughts. Um, so I guess I can break it down like this from the reveal trailer. You done fucked it up. <laughs> and people are going to be like, uh, people, oh my God, my comics are going to blow up with oh, so much yeah. Joe hate. It's going to be another shut up, Joe, don't complain about Nintendo. It's going to be shut up, do Joe, don't complain about Star Wars Battlefront. But I've got to... First first thing I want to show off to everybody and remind them if they think this looks amazing is is notice how it says game engine footage Notice what do they normally put there Joe? In game in game footage, right? <laughs> so this just means you took the character models and you fucking animated them as a movie Well, you can make any fucking thing look impressive like that uh, are the soldiers going to move in this way? No. Are the explosions going to be this way? Who knows? But I know one thing for sure. Definitely not going to fucking drive speeder bikes like this. Look, you can't even control And you're going to go on a trip. Fuck. What the fuck? No fucking way. Absolutely not. You know what's going to happen, Joe, is people are going to jump on those speeder bikes and the first three feet, they're going <laughs> to slam into a fucking tree. <laughs> Evasive maneuvers. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. I have no idea how these speeder bikes, unless they change the way they control and let them go strafe, um, you know, be uh, how they're gonna be effective in battle. The only way I see is they get in, pa -pa 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 -pa, and then do a strafe and then fly out of there. Hit and run tactics. I know I'll definitely be trying to drive a, a speeder bike. Oh, so, yeah. am I excited about Star Wars Battlefront? Yes. Do I want to play it? Yes. But did this trailer and announcement and details. What's, what's important here is the details, what they say is in the game. Did it do uh, good for the game or did it do bad for the game? The answer is it took a fuck ton of win out of the sales because here is what's really going down. Uh, no space battles, okay? You'll get dogfighting. But no space battles. I know you're sad about that one. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah. Uh, no Clone Wars. Uh, so in, in Battlefronts, we've got substantial warfare, both in Clone War era, prequel era, and this era. No, None of that shit. So we're getting, already we're getting half the content. No campaign mode. No story mode whatsoever, Joe. So it's like they're just fucking lazing out. They want to do multiplayer and they want to sell us a bunch of DLC packs more than likely. Uh, and fucking please don't tell me battle packs are in this. Um, what else? There are only, there are no fucking classes. You know what that means, Joe? Is that people are going to find out the most optimal weapon, the most optimal loadout, uh, no, and everybody's going to play that. You don't need the other ones, then. Exactly. You don't need the fucking other ones, and nobody's going to play the other classes, and there's not going to be as much teamwork and synergy. Instead of these squads, and, and making squads are important, they're doing a new partner system where it's like, you choose one person that you want to partner with, so like Angry Joe, Other Joe, everything that I unlock, you automatically get unlocked. We earn an extra bonus experience. So yeah, it's cool for just two people, but what about the squad? What about, you know, multiple people? And um, there, I, I actually wrote some more things. So let's go through this. No seamless space to land battles. No campaign. No prequel content, meaning no fucking Clone Wars. No space battles. No classes. The largest mode in the game is this walker mode, what we're seeing here, essentially, or at least a, a target render of what they want it to be. 
Uh, the largest mode in the game is a walker mode where, where I guess the Empire tries to protect the walker and the Rebels try to destroy the walker with those Y-wings and shit. Mm -hmm. 40 players. 20. 20 versus 20. In 2015. You know, it's like, what the fuck? We've had 60 players for the longest fucking time in this, in, in the, at least Battlefield series. I know this is Battlefront, but give me a fucking break. We're going down on players now? Yeah, no. No. This is, this is hugely disappointing. Exactly. It's hugely disappointing. And if you don't think that any of this news is disappointing, I'm sorry, you're a fanboy. You don't know how to take things and critique them and say, man, it kind of sucks. Look, we're getting half the content. Kind of sucks we're not getting a single player content. It kind of sucks. It it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Like it anyway. Shut up. The game is multiplayer anyway. It should just be multiplayer. This is even God, man. It's, so a lot of the hype has just been taken out. So it, let's talk about positive things now. That you've, you've got our complaints in there. It looks like there's hero characters on both the ground and the air, which is cool. The Millennium Falcon there. Um, I wonder what the, um, you know, the hero characters, maybe the tie, uh, Darth Vader's TIE Fighter, maybe. Um, Slave One uh, for Boba Fett, something like that. So disappointing we don't get Clone Wars, which is original trilogy. Um, they are going to release a free DLC uh, for the upcoming uh, Star Wars 7, so clever tie-in. <laughs> now, of course you're going to take advantage of that, so uh, maybe we'll see new vehicles there. One of the more concerning things that I saw in, in the press release uh, was that uh, vehicles, They uh, Polygon wrote it as if vehicles are earned, some vehicles. And I cannot stand uh, Call of Duty's perk system where, you know, oh, if you get five kills, you get this. If you get 10 kills, you get airstrikes. If you get 20 kills, you get a fucking helicopter. You get 30, you get a nuclear bomb, right? You know, it's like you're, you're making the best players even better while the shitty players get nothing. No, vehicles should just be available for everybody to drive because if you suck at a first-person shooter, you, what do you want to do? Maybe you'll be a good fighter pilot. Maybe you'll be a good fucking ATST or a good ATAT if you could drive those things. So there's just so many like disappointing things. Uh, yes, I'm still excited. Yes, I'm still looking forward to it. It's great that it's coming out this year just like the other game is. But fucking four planets and two to three maps each planet you're looking at maybe eight to twelve maps for a multiplayer only game now there is solo mode and cooperative in what they call missions so there are specific and they say it a thousand times that they're very short so don't expect that to you know replace the story campaign and i'm very uh, sad There's about no that so while there was so much hype for this game and, and so much excitement for it. And when they finally reveal this this trailer, they think everybody's eating it up. And they're like, wow, this is, they're going to love this shit. I, I guarantee you the majority of people are like, yeah, man, that's cool. But damn, man, what, what, what we could have had if EA wasn't trying to rush this fucking game out probably to hit the... The, to hit around the same time the fucking movies are hitting. Now, oh, obviously, it's doing really well on thumbs up. There's, like, literally no thumbs down on the trailer. Oh, and honestly, I wouldn't thumbs down this trailer either because it's a fucking fantastic yeah, piece of trailer. artwork. It's a great trailer. Um, but if you come down to the brass tacks and see what's missing in the game, um, there there is stuff to be disappointed about. So, if you're going to go this way, EA, if you're going to go this way, DICE, which you already are, this better be one of the most goddamn fulfilling multiplayer games. If you're not going to offer a story, if you're not going to do classes, if you're going to offer half of the vehicles as le uh, as uh, perks, uh, just rewards for getting tons of kills, I don't know, man. It's good to see there's still jetpacks. Because it's like, that's part of what the Clone Wars was. There was lots of different varieties of classes, but uh, good to see that there's still jetpacks. It's not entirely too sold. I'm a little concerned, especially when you consider uh, some of the tomfoolery they're doing. Let, let me show you. Uh, with. Boom! <laughs> Digital Deluxe Edition. Let me try to zoom in here for you. Deluxe, son. Boom! Star Wars Standard Edition, 60 bucks. 
uh, Star Wars Battlefront Edition. Uh, Deluxe Edition, it is $70. So they're doing, they're basically, this is giving me bad vibes that they're going to market it the same way they've been marketing, uh, you know, the Battlefield series. One good thing, forgot to mention, no battle log. So you don't have to, you don't have to fucking mess with that. But hopefully, you know, some people have gotten used to battle log. They like the stats. Hopefully all the stats will still be there. They'll just be in the game and not outside of the game with the annoying battle log system. But this here is not instilling confidence in me. I'm sure there's going to be a third edition that's going to cost 150 bucks. Oh um, you know, depending on what they include with it, I might buy it. If it's a fucking helmet, I'm going to fucking buy that shit. But I'm, it's probably not going to be a helmet. Yeah. Um, so what exactly is in the uh, Battlefront de uh, de uh, Deluxe ten Edition? $10 For $10 more dollars? Let's figure, what do we get? <laughs> Here's the, the Deluxe Edition. You get Han Solo's Blaster instant access to it which means you could get it in the game but you just um, get it immediately an ion detonator item instant access an ion torpedo <laughs> instant access ion shock it's an exclusive emote so maybe he's like or, or, or and then a victory so he's like fucking dancing or something so you get two exclusive emotes and three little in-game items action. that you would get Anyway, if you played the game, that's fucking nope. ten dollars. <laughs> nope. Not instilling a lot of confidence in us, uh, EA and Dice. Uh, we're a little concerned with it. We're still excited. We're still willing to obviously give it a shot, give it a fair shake with a review. Um, but I don't think that the reveal went the, exactly the way that you wanted amongst players, despite this level of lights. Mm -hmm. um, so be prepared for that. And be prepared to make one of the most amazing multiplayer and Star Wars experiences of all time. Because if not, whew, could be a lot of upset people. Don't fuck it up like you did Battlefield Hardline. All right, guys. All right. Well, that was that's EA we're talking about. Because obviously Dice did not develop that as Visceral Games, but um, EA ultimately is in control. I'm sure. All right, guys. Um, that's our thoughts. Put your thoughts in the comments. You want to tell us to shut the fuck up and accept it? Or do you want to say, <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks, and, and I, and I hope they do offer uh, mo uh, more in the future. More is better. But you know they are through DLC. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, guys. Okay, uh, one thing I forgot to record and mention uh, when me and other Joe did that vlog back in Poland, and now we're in Minneapolis, <laughs> is uh, some more information came out. So there's this chart. Obviously, this chart has some inaccuracies because there's a there's another chart from a fan that came out that was that, that tries to counter this chart. So you've got another chart here. That, <laughs> but look at look Yo, at dog, I heard you like look charts. At, look at how much information they have to put there in order to get. Uh, to get that done so yeah. hold on one second let's go back to this chart okay so the the crux of the thing is the most important things that i forgot it was, uh, was uh nash i'm not sure where he is oh. and uh is that there's no galactic conquest in battlefront which for me yeah. was kind of the whole fucking point right in in the star wars battlefront series i i tried to confirm it and you know uh, obviously it hasn't been super official but it, there's been a lot of information on the internet that says no galactic conquest especially when you consider there's only four planets so you're not far, really but yeah. you're not really no no it's been announced four oh, planets shit. yeah so that you can't really do galactic conquest very well with four planets um and then another important thing that i, I forgot to mention is that it's it's not going to be moddable they they're they're not doing this modding community so those are two really big things that uh that i think are missing and oh and there's also the uh, ai bots it's only going to be in one game mode uh, oh. when opposed to bots has always been really good in the battlefront 2 series so, uh, you know, I'll throw it to you, Lenny. Uh, Star Wars games? Star Wars is huge in my life. I mean, I, I've, I've gotten into, like, so deep into the freaking... Uh, well, hello, Linkara. I've gotten so deep into the freaking expanded universe, everything like that. Well, most of which has been destroyed by now, but... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right, they kind of tossing that's, that's out... That's for another time! They're tossing <laughs> out the expanded universe these days for uh, the Star Wars 7... I loved Battlefront 2 back in the day. I played that so much in, yeah, like, freaking... I, I, I think I played it throughout, like, a lot of college, too. Uh, like, from when it came out through a lot of college. Mm -hmm. Wasted a lot of my studying nights. <laughs> well, that, so, that moment when you get to play the heroes is oh, awesome. Oh, it's great. I'm and looking forward to that. Like, seeing, that Boba, is seeing Boba Fett yeah. and Vader in the new trailer. <laughs> I'm just like, yes! <laughs> yeah, so, and, but what do you think about no Galactic Conquest and no, no storyline? You know what? It, like... 
this game to me, uh, it's always been about the multiplayer. Mm -hmm. I never really got into the Galactic Conquest. I mean, I played it because, mm -hmm. hey, it's there and it was awesome. But uh, the way I see it, if, especially if you're giving it to dice, you're looking at kind of a multiplayer scenario. Like, if you're giving this the battlefield treatment, which I'm guessing is what they're going to try to do. A little bit, sort yeah. Of, it, there's not, it's not as destructive, and yeah. they're not trying to mimic it. Well, that, at least that's what they say, but... We'll yeah, and, and while there are... I, I, I don't understand, like, the, uh, like how they... Uh, as you can see on the chart, they lowered the player count, which kind of confused me. Yeah, why do that? I mean, especially it's when always Battlefield, been an epic battle, especially you when know? Battlefield itself is mm -hmm. based on like huge, like you know, sixty-four player server kind of thing. Yeah. And people will uh, jump to uh, the defense of things that they care well, about, and, yeah. you, and, and in that case, they'll be like, "Well, the maps are more detailed, and there's inside and outside environments." Yeah, but yeah. there are games right now that are sixty players with inside and outside environments and details. Just give me a compass, I'm good. Yeah, the, the one thing that I want, the one thing that I really, really hope for, and something that I've always really wanted is, I've always wanted something like you know, massive fleet to fleet combat kind of. Oh things. yes. Where you got like you'll like in, Star Wars Armada that I played oh, miniatures God, game. Dude, I, I'm looking forward to getting. But a copy that's of that. not in here. The space no. battles are not going to be in here. And uh, instead that. of people, you know, countering saying the space battles weren't very oh, interesting, as you, they should make them more interesting in the new right. game. You know, because yeah. it's a new game. What about you, Brad? How about Star Wars? Have you played uh, any Star Wars games? Yeah. Oh, but. Years ago, yeah. <laughs> the last Star Wars game I played was Star Wars: Shadows of the Empire, on the which Nintendo is awesome. 64, which is great. Damn. Fighting wampas in the desert, yeah. randomly in a cave. <laughs> there better be wampas in this thing. In caves, in in desert caves too. Yeah. that's why it scares you. You don't expect him to be in the desert. Why are you here? He <laughs> scares the shit out of you. And then he throws you off of a cliff. <laughs> So you heard it here. Uh, Brad wants wampas that throw you off the cliff in yeah. Battlefront. Can you imagine I what do. that would be like if they had environmental hazards? Like you have like Ewoks on Endor that are just like setting up traps and shit. I know, That'd right? That's crazy. Levolution, but with but little dynamic yeah. events that could be its own little yeah. thing in Battlefront with the Ewoks or yeah. the wampas. Or, yeah. or if you're on Hoth and you get ambushed by a freaking wampa. As far as mm. we know, that's not in the game, but there yeah. is some stuff still yet to be revealed for Battlefront. So. Um, and this this particular chart I find ridiculous is so much. You yeah, know, it's right? basically yeah. just one guy's opinion, and then he's telling everybody, uh, "Don't fall for hype culture, but don't also be critical." You know, don't also be overly critical and stuff. It's like, dude, shut up. Let, yeah. <laughs> let people fucking talk chart. about uh, why there are missing things, and let them you know vent about why there are some missing things and stuff. You look at the and I'll tell you why there's missing things. Look at the logos. Okay, you got Star Wars Battlefront Two. It's big. It's epic too. And then you have Star Wars Battlefront. It's all like you know standard. EA. And then, EA, that and, is but the no, part. that's what I was getting to. <laughs> EA made sure to stamp right there on that front thing. This said, this is EA's version. So if you look at all the red X's, you you kind of understand. Oh, oh the e you have oh. to buy that later. All right, guys. <laughs> Well, thank you so much uh, for checking out the vlog, and I promise as soon as I can, I'll get that Mortal Kombat X review out to you guys. And I don't know how well it's going to do, something like two weeks late on views, but I, it's you know it's going to be there for historical purposes <laughs> and because it's you know archive it, yeah, yeah. archive it, and it's Mortal Kombat is one of my favorite series. So thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show.